Well, good afternoon and a warm welcome back to the channel. I recently took my BMW R1250 GS Adventure on a three day tour to Wales. If that's of interest to you, stick around and watch the video. So hot on the heels of my solo three day trip midweek to Northern Ireland, which I thoroughly enjoyed. And whilst the weather was a little bit, little bit dodgy at the time, you can reference that up here. And I'd thoroughly recommend you watching the video and I'd certainly thoroughly recommend you going to Northern Ireland and, and doing a trip around there. It's, it's fantastic riding country. But hot on the heels of that, we did a weekend for three days in Wales. So Friday through till Sunday. And we covered pretty much upper mid to lower mid Wales and, and stuck ourselves pretty much in that area. And you'll see from the video, the places that we went to, the weather couldn't have been better, um, up to 31 degrees at one point, which is maybe a tad too hot on a motorcycle, but certainly there was no rain even threatening. The company was fantastic and the scenery, the riding was also fantastic, as I hope you'll see in the video. I was accompanied, as I say, by three friends. There was Sean on the BMW R1250 GS standard exclusive. Then Stuart, who's actually ridden pretty much around the world and many countries multiple times on a BMW uh, 1150, but he was on his brand new Yamaha 700 Tenere and Richard was on his brand new S1000 XR. So it was great company, great riding, great scenery. Let's have a look at some of the footage. Okay, so we've just left uh, Tinton Abbey, which is about the first place you come to once you get off and out of the Chepstow area, and we're heading our way now across to Newtown. Now, the plan for these three days, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, there really isn't one. Um, we'll be meeting up later on with Stuart, so there's still just the three of us, Sean in front, Richard in front of that, and uh, we'll be meeting up with Stuart this lunchtime in Newtown. But after that, we're probably going to head up and get to the bottom of Snowdonia and maybe have a look at the Mac Loop, just in case we can see any uh, low-flying aircraft coming through the valley there on a Friday afternoon, but we may be lucky, we may not but it's a beautiful day and it's set to be a beautiful weekend and it's set to be beautiful riding so hopefully all will be right with the world and we'll get some decent footage so we'll look forward to showing you that and in the meantime we'll be on our way here up the Y Valley to towards Hay on Y actually um, and then upwards to Newtown and then round the Mac Loop. Uh, tomorrow we probably would look to do the Elan Valley which we did on our UK tour last year and it was absolutely stunning so hopefully we'll be doing that again but as I say I will be led by the rest of the posse so we'll have to wait and see how that one goes looking forward to it and we'll catch up with some more footage
So we're on the A481 and we've come through Hay on Wye. We've got uh, 47 miles to go to Newtown and at least four miles to the next turn. But there's very little traffic. The sun is shining and the roads are great. So stick with it. Let's enjoy the ride. So now we're four. We've been joined by Stuart, who's in front of me on his Yamaha. And we're on our way now up to um, a lake. I cannot remember the name of it, but I will tell you very shortly what it is, or I'll put it up on the screen somewhere. And we're then hoping to go on from there up to the Mac Loop. So the area where the RAF and I guess probably the naval air service as well do their low level flying so we might get to see some low flying aircraft we may not of course but um, the scenery is now starting to get good the weather is still good although it has clouded over a little bit it's still incredibly warm at 25 degrees and randomly the sat nav here and the connected app are currently in sync life is good So we've just been past the lake and we're now on to a little bit of a side road here with um, the usual <laughs> hodge grass tracks in the middle and some pretty nasty gravel and grit which Stuart in front of me is much better suited to with his hybrid tyres on um, than I am with my road tyres on but um, we'll wend our way gently through here and onwards to the Mac Loop.
so we've left the valley that we were in and we're now on the A487 he says lifting his visor which is now becoming more and more splattered with flies it's a glorious day and it's glorious scenery if you are oh, I'm sure the GoPro doesn't really do it justice but I've got to tell you it is stunning it's still 25 degrees um, very little traffic in this direction if I had wood I would touch it um, because there's an awful lot coming the other way and I'm likely to curse myself and come up behind something in a minute but the scenery is that good that really you don't want to be doing much more than 50 or 60 miles an hour otherwise it just whizzes past far too slow far too quickly so um, but you can see thoroughly recommended we're um, basically now right up in the Mac loop um, there was a trainer aircraft coming through I'll try and put some footage of it because it came over my head in that other valley um, a prop driven but pretty quick uh, trainer aircraft but I would imagine that that'll mean that there won't be any fast jets going through because they won't want fast jets going through while a lighter trainer is going through but this is the Mac loop so this is basically where all of the low flying training is done for aircraft you know the the fighter jets but also the um, Hercules and things like that that have got to come into some of these bases below radar cover so um, in some instances they are flying below 100 feet which is pretty low when the terrain around you is far bigger than that so um, anyway a little bit more footage a little bit more riding a little bit more pleasure Okay, so it's been a fantastic day and the sun has shone all day. We are 312 miles in currently with somewhere in the region of 30, no, 20 miles to go. So it's going to be a 330 mile day. We're currently on the A483, which anyone is familiar with this, it's the road from Newtown down to Llandrindod Wells. And this is it all the way it's unfortunate because i'm about to come up against a car now um, but it literally is a weavy windy a road just like this all the way for the 25 or 26 miles from the newtown bypass all the way to Llandrindod wells which is where we're staying tonight Okay, so we're on to day two here, and we've left Llandrindod Wells, which is where we're stopping for the whole weekend, so Friday night and Saturday night. Um, so we're on the Saturday now, and we're taking a very scenic route all the way across the Elan Valley and the Lynn Brian Lake, I think it is. I don't think it's a reservoir. I think Lynn is... Uh, Welsh for lake um, but hopefully we'll get you some footage later so you can take a look at it but once again it's a stunning day the scenery is stunning as I hope you can see the GoPro does tend to um, play everything down because this is truly spectacular um, I guess because it's a Saturday we should keep an eye out for motorcyclists um, coming in opposite directions and in fact there are two motorcyclists so um, Certainly, yes, there's a lot of motorcyclists around here today, so it might be something to keep our eyes peeled on. But as you can see, absolutely stunning. Look forward to giving you some footage. Stick around and just soak it in.
and look at that wow a vast expanse of green and the road wends its way all the way around and all the way up the other side 27 miles an hour the sun's out life is good mind the sheep <laughs> So we've just left, I think it's pronounced Ryada, and I'll put it up so that you can all laugh at me at my pronunciation. And we are now proceeding the other way up the Ilan Valley. Um, we were planning to do this on the way down, but part of the reason that that wasn't possible was because we had to meet up with a good friend of ours, Steve, who um, normally would cycle with us, motorcycle with us, and in fact he was motorcycling on this trip, but then um, had a problem with his back. So he was down in Abergavenny, so he drove up to Ryada to um, meet us there for lunch, which we've just had. And now we're going the reverse way, so from the south up the Elan Valley and past the multiple lakes and reservoirs of that valley. So again, hope you enjoy the scenery and the ride.
So on the way back down from the reservoir dam uh, viewpoint, there's an upper and a lower one. We went to the upper one um, because the lower one is actually just a car park where you are facing the bottom of the dam. At least on the top one you can see over the dam and into the holding reservoir. So you can see all four of the or all three of the posse in front and me on the GS. Um, just coming down the hill. Now we're going to go back over the uh, bridge and the other dam and then we'll go left and up the mountain roads and Stuart was just pointing out to me over there a man doing a trail on an enduro bike very brave seems like fun all the motorcycles are out today it's hot it's sunny it's dry and it's stunning just spotted actually that it wasn't Stuart that was pointing out that enduro rider because they've swapped bikes that's actually Reg Richard on Stuart's bike and Stuart is riding Richard's bike coming up to the Elan Valley Dam at the bottom here and the pump house and we'll just cross this and proceed I suspect to go left which will take us over the mountain the mountain route <coughs> a bit busy on this junction because it is quite scenic and picturesque as you can see hopefully but I'm thinking we will end up going left at the end of here let's take a look and a little more footage. Irrespective of the amount of rain that we seem to have had in the UK recently which has resulted in quite a number of floods across the country you may have noticed from the footage that the level of all of this water is actually incredibly low when you look at where it is when it's all full of course it's a it's a controlled water system in as much as and they obviously control it to make sure that the reservoirs are full I may or may not be right here but we're obviously in pretty much mid Wales here and I'm pretty sure that it's the Elan Valley reservoirs that actually supply Birmingham with their drinking water so quite a number of them um, quite a number of miles away and there's a beautiful shot of the bubbling river but it is certainly a little low on water at the moment that may be deliberate I don't know but normally a shortage of water isn't deliberate um, and for any of you that live in the UK you'll wonder with all the rain we have why it looks quite as low as it is I've got to say though we're two days in two days of beautiful weather two days of beautiful scenery great company um, we've had a blast we've had a laugh just about just about only possible on a motorbike I think see them because the GoPro shortens them but the cows are actually down in the reservoir there drinking and obviously keeping cool 
and then up in front here we've got another dam and a pump house on the dam amazing structures really um, holding back all of that water must be a huge strength to it but um, over the centuries or yeah I suppose it is probably centuries now they've just become stunning pieces of architecture that totally blend in with what you see around you so I'd thoroughly recommend this actual day and obviously I'll put the GPX files as a link down in the description so if you want to ride these yourself just go and pick those up probably put them in by day so there it is bridge and pumping station what a fantastic view and as I say it really just blends in with the scenery now it's not sort of seen as an ugly piece of architecture anymore some green laners here they'll be having some great fun go <laughs> fair play to him but uh, beyond my daring I have to say beyond my age I have to say So it's been a fabulous couple of days so far with one to go. So the first day up to the uh, Mac Loop and all around that area and then this second day has been probably even better um, around the Elan Valley and uh, Lynn Brian and various other places. I mean absolutely stunning weather, stunning scenery, great company, what's not to like. So we're just now uh, heading our way back to Ryada, probably pronounced it completely wrong, correct me if you wish, <laughs> and um, then from Ryada down to Clandrindod Wells where we're staying again this evening and then it'll be home tomorrow. Not quite sure what's happening tomorrow, obviously as we're all heading certainly to south and east then we will almost certainly be going south as far as Wales is concerned and that means the Brecon Beacons so I think we'll do a little bit of planning tonight and then we'll um, sort out exactly what we intend to do tomorrow there goes Mr Enduro again who patently knows the roads good luck to him <laughs> um, but uh, we'll look forward to showing you some more scenery of Wales now and tomorrow And as we cross the cattle grid, that is normally an exit to nice scenery and, of course, generally, sheep. So here we are then. It is day three and we are on our way home. We left the hotel early this morning because it got so fiercely hot yesterday that um, we don't want to do too much riding today late in, later on in the afternoon when it's so warm so we left at half past seven it's now two minutes past eight and we're heading our way to Brecon town um, and into the Brecon Beacons we're not going to do much riding around the Brecon Beacons um, because as I say we want to try and get home and get yourself ready and prepared for Monday morning and all of those other things get tidied up so it'll be Brecon and then from Brecon to Abergavenny and from Abergavenny to Monmouth. We're going to try and get some breakfast in Monmouth and then we will carry on across the A40, so um, sort of direction will be Cheltenham, um, North Leach, Burford, and then Sean and I will head south from Burford probably through um, 
Farringdon and or, or Lechlade and Farringdon and then down that way to Southampton and the other two guys Richard and Stuart who've got to get round to Essex will carry on along the A40 to Whitney Oxford join the M40 and around the M25 so I'm not sure we're going to get huge amounts of footage today certainly last days always tend to be a little bit light on footage but um, I suspect there'll be a little bit as we go through the beacons and It's been a beautiful day. Glad we started early because we've still now probably got another hour at least, hour and a bit probably, to home. And we are at 30 degrees at the moment. So despite the fact I've got my mesh gear on um, and mesh gloves and everything else, the, the wind that's coming through is still incredibly warm. So um, it certainly is very hot, very stuffy. We're going to stop in Marlborough um, because we've come across... Uh, Gloucester, Cheltenham, Andover's Ford, North Leach, Burford. The two guys have now shot on across the A40 and Sean and I are now on the A346 heading down towards Marlborough, just across the M4. Um, but it's been great. So we've had a great time, great weather. The roads in Wales are superb, far less traffic in Wales. You notice when you get over to England that there is a lot more traffic come what may, although of course it's particularly busy because of the weather, I suspect. But uh, that's it for this one. Hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, give us a thumbs up. That'll really help the channel. Um, subscribing would be great. We're about 6,000 subscribers at the moment. It'd be great to have more along. And any comments you've got, leave those down below in the description. And I'll also leave the GPX route that we've taken through Wales in the the uh, in the description below so that'll be it for this we will see you next time thanks a lot for watching ride safe stay safe we'll see you next time watch these few stills from the trip bye bye